Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm testing out this um, Chef, what did I say? Was it Copper Chef um, XL? So let's see what we got. So I do have some chicken, boneless chicken thigh. This is the chicken thigh that I brought yesterday at Zycon, Z-A-Y-C-O-N. You might want to check them out. Um, I'm going to saute this. I just season your meat as you would like. I know everybody seasons their meat differently. Um, I actually set this at low. I'm going to bump this up to medium. I'm going to turn this around so y'all can see. It has some buttons here. It says medium. Medium. Low, medium, high, warm, and simmer. So we're going to see how this rocks today. it like this so I'm gonna take um take my time this I actually season it different um some kind of Spanish ingredients which I use adobo um I use um garlic powder onion powder um this is Italian season and some I'm not sure if I say achote I did use achote which is like a saffron season so that's what exactly it is. The only thing, ours come in a powder, so let me show you really quick. So this is, uh, this is what I use. Again, this is like some Spanish seasoning that we use, but again, you can just season it, salt and pepper. I just tend to like seasoning um, a little bit with more ingredients. Um, I cook with flavor, not with spicy food. Not really into spicy food, my son is. But um, we do use a lot of flavoring here. So with that, with while the chicken is cooking, I'm going to show you the other ingredients. I did boil one um, box of pasta, panini pasta. I do have smoked sausage here. I have um, one medium onion, um, some red, yellow, and orange peppers. If you don't like none of these things, don't put it on there. That's fine. I do have um, mushrooms with that. What else? And for now, that is it. We're gonna continue to cook this out. So far, it's cooking actually great. The heat, when you set it on medium, it does have a fan that I hear, which is annoying to me, but I'm not sure if it's gonna go away. I just turned it on now. Um, so medium sets 275, low sits at 100, and high, I think it's 475 when I tried it. So, yeah. Alright, so this is almost actually cooked halfway through. Since it's cooked halfway through, I am actually going to add the um, smoked kibasi. And to that, I'm also going to cook the onions in there because it takes longer than any other vegetable. And everything that I use, it has, um, I don't like using metal on metal because they'll scratch it. So it has to have this rubber or plastic or I use a lot of the wooden spoons. I don't like messing up my pots because they're expensive. So we're going to continue to cook this until this is cooked all the way. Once it's cooked all the way, I'm going to add my vegetables, clear this pot out. I'm not going to clean it. Um, I'm just going to put it in the, um, in the bowl and then we're going to cook the vegetables separate. So after that, we're going to combine everything. Alright guys, so now as far as the smoked kibasi and the... Um, chicken that is almost done I'm gonna give it like two more minutes and it's done but I'm gonna take it out now because of the simple fact I want to saute my vegetables and then add everything else together so I'm gonna take this out I'm just gonna dump it in here it looks like when you lift the pot up it stops cooking you hear that beep 
which is cool because if something happens, a kid is messing with something, you know, kids get into everything. You're like, what the hell is that beat? You know what it is. I wish we had smell of vision. <laughs> that would be that would be awesome, right? <laughs> Alright, so let's see when I put the pot and see if it stops. It sure did. So this is what it looks like. You see it still has a lot of liquid in there, which is good because when we mix the um pasta in there, they'll have the juice from the um, sausage and the, the smoked sausage and the uh, chicken. I'm not gonna wash this pot. The chicken was cooked so there's no contamination whatsoever. I do have um, organic uh, girl super, um, super spinach. I'm gonna actually cook this with it. Well, when everything is cooked, I'll leave this for the last minute because spinach cooks really fast. I got this actually for free. You guys know I do couponing. Um, the only thing I didn't have coupons for was the vegetables, which is fine. But I did have this. I kind of printed this out. You guys can go to organicgirl.com, sign up. They give you a two dollar. Was it two ninety nine off? And usually um, they're actually two ninety nine, so you can get it for free. So it's two coupons limit. So this goes for free. The sauce, uh, the sausage, the kibasi, I had dollar off fifty. I didn't pay anything. I did pay a dollar for it. I'm sorry, that's a lie. The smoked sausage, I paid a dollar for it, which it's usually running for three ninety nine. So a dollar for a big kibasi, which is fantastic. As far as the chicken breast, um, boneless chicken breast, I did get it from the Zycon, which is actually um, I brought two cases, thirty case, thirty pounds per case, and I only paid forty two dollars for a 30 pound, that's a fantastic um, deal. What else, the can of corn, um, I'm gonna actually add the corn last because it does cook, it's already pre-cooked. Kids like the corn in it, I can care less for it. They consider it a vegetable. I can't consider it as a nuisance. To me it's nothing, but. I do like mushrooms. If you don't like any of these vegetables, please do not add it on there. Kind of make your own thing. Everybody has their own taste. And I do know that, I know she's probably saying, well, why is she cooking the, the, the peppers with the mushroom when mushroom does finish cooking first? I like mine's is a little al dente, so I like that bite to it. Nothing is sticking to my pan, which is a A plus to me. Again, I do have the other small little tiny um, frying pans, which I like. I use um, a little bit of spray, either coconut spray or olive oil spray, whatever I have in hand. So I'm going to cook this a little bit longer. Get that little flavor in there together. And then we're gonna stick everything in one pot. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is to my liking. You can continue to cook it. Again, I like my peppers to be to that bite, but not too soft, not too hard, just perfect. That's how I consider it. So now that everything is cooking, I'm gonna add back the chicken. Add the corn. I'm gonna add one can of tomato and basil. Then mix it up. I don't know if it's the fan or maybe because the pot is moving but I can hear like a like a kind of a little squeak sound to it 
and now it stopped so I think it's the pan when I pressure when I put my hand on it it kind of makes that noise see that's what it is when I touch the pan, the pan it makes that noise so all right everything is pretty mixed up corn popped out and I ate it <laughs> So, I'm going to add, this is washed and rinsed. I'm going to add the spinach to it. And remember, this spinach will melt down or welt down. So, you'll see that it'll start coming down. I'll mix it up. This is the only way that I can get my son to eat vegetables. I swear to you not, like, I wouldn't even consider it as vegetable except for the spinach. Y'all know the corn ain't no vegetable, so. But he will eat it like this. So that's the A plus for me. As you can see, it's starting to welt down. It's the only thing I don't like about the tongue. Sometimes food gets stuck there. So. All right, so I'm just gonna put actually the lid back on. I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit longer. Probably like for three minutes. And I'll be back and we're gonna have everything mixed up. All right guys, so this is already cooked to my liking. This is the easiest dish that you can, I mean, you can really cook. If you can't get this down pat, ay, 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 pobrecito. I mean, like, poor you, like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is, my son can make this, that's how easy it is. If you don't know how to cook chicken, just take two kibasi. It really depends on how much family you have. If it's just you yourself, take uh, one kibasi or half a kibasi, cut it up, dice it up, slice it up, whatever you want to do, whatever you can do. Saute it with any vegetables that you like. And mix it up with pasta. As easy as pie. Like really, this, this dinner is like 30 minutes. Like this is no more than 30 minutes. So, I already have my pasta cooked. I have it here. I'm going to actually move this. And here's the pasta, actually. Um, and we're actually going to put this in together. So. I'm going to turn this off. Let's see how you turn it off. It's off. So I turned it off because there's no need for me to cook it anymore. I'm gonna transfer this to a pan. The reason why I do it this way is because if there's any leftover, you just stick it in the refrigerator and call it a day. If not, stick it in um in the micro in the oven. Or if you want to put some uh, Reggiano Parmesan cheese, you can. That's attached to it. I think actually I got some. So actually, I'm gonna put some on there. And I only put a little bit at a time so I can I'm able to stir it up and not make a huge mess now the reason why I didn't put the sauce on there because I am going to stick it in the oven for just a li little bit I can actually pour it in here actually let's just pour it in here you don't have to use alfredo sauce my kids love the creaminess of it I'm going to turn it back on to medium to give it that steam, that heat. I just added a little bit of milk on this and so the rest out of it. So I'm just stirring up. I was going to put it actually in the oven. I don't have time for that right now. So I'm just going to stir this cream up with the liquid that's in there and it's going to give it a better flavoring I'll put the um, 
the Reggiano cheese in there. If you don't like the Reggiano cheese, you can put mozzarella cheese. If you don't like mozzarella, don't put no cheese. Um, whatever, it doesn't matter. So now that this is stirred up, my, my hands are clean and it's warm. So that's all I needed. So it can stay, so it can stay warm, so it can get warm fast because everything is hot. So I'm gonna actually pour this sauce right on top. And nothing, nothing got stuck to this pot. I like this pot. <laughs> they do have the pot set. It's right on top. I'm gonna stir everything up. I'm gonna see something. So it's just warm to the touch. I was just curious to see, like, you know, so you stick your hands on a stool where it's going to be hot. You're going to burn yourself. But it's warm. I wouldn't try this at home, but I know what I'm doing. So I stuck my hand in there. It is hot, but I'm not burning myself. So that means it cools down pretty fast. So that's a that's a plus, too. Because if you're, like, if you have little kids and you're running out the door, like, I'm always running out the door. My kids are not little. Um... That's a that's a plus to that. All right, I'm gonna serve it on the plate, and I'm gonna get see how it tastes. Cause it might you might need salt, you mean you might need one some more pepper, a little bit more seasoning. It's up to your flavoring. So I'm gonna try to see what I need for my dish. All right, guys. So here we go. I'm gonna see what what flavoring we need. And remember, everybody has their own taste buds. Um, I'm gonna try the meat out with it. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's perfect. Don't need nothing. Mm. I like the sausage flavoring. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I like the crunch to the peppers. And the spinach is not like soggy soggy. But it's perfect. It's like it's good and then I have a bite of the tomatoes because remember put a can of tomato basil tomato in there mm -hmm. it's so good this is smacked your mama good mm -hmm. daddy see also all right I'm gonna stop eating <laughs> bye guys mm. like my new shirt YouTube resourceful reina and if you can see, it says subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Give me like. Share my videos. Comment below. Try my recipes. Love you guys. Thank you for everything. Bye.